safety on the farm. John was plowing a field like any other day, and he came to an area of the field with uneven terrain. The next thing John knew, he was in a rollover accident. John died at the age of 43 because he was not wearing a seatbelt, and his tractor did not have rollover protection. This story is close to me because I have worked on a farm and been introduced to unsafe conditions. I have been taught the proper safety procedures in those situations. Some of these unsafe places are in a tractor, or maybe handling large livestock, or working around pesticides. Good morning, my name is Lane Waltrip and I represent the Artesia FFA chapter. I have worked on and around tractors. I believe my cousin John should have been wearing a seatbelt. The National Ag Safety Database says that tractor rollovers account for 50% of tractor related fatalities. I, I think we should have more training and guidelines on tractors. Tractors are the main cause of accidental deaths on the farm, says the Department of Environmental Health and Safety. Hazardous areas include mechanical parts, uneven terrain, people outside and around the tractor, or attaching implements to the tractor. The National Ag Safety Database says that rollover protection structures are standard equipment on tractors since 1985. Rollover protection structures are 99.9% .9 effective in preventing deaths to tractor rollovers. They also say that many tractors made before 1985 are still used to this day. I believe every year your local tractor dealer should inspect and service your tractor. Your local dealer could also discuss safe driving practices and focus on safety precautions in the situation of a rollover. Few ranchers, few ranchers view livestock as a danger. This is why taking a few safety precautions and observing safety rules can save you time, prevent injury, or save your life. I've been kicked, bit, and headbutted by cows. My father's put me in charge of many chores around livestock. I was capable of accomplishing them, but I had been in those situations before and already knew the safety precautions. Therefore, my father believed I could complete those chores safely. Animals with young are more protective by nature if they, if they perceive you are endangering their young. When working around animals with young, allow the parents to remain as close as they want to their young. Human errors are the primary cause of many types of accidents. Most large animals have a comfort zone, like humans, and deep invasion into that comfort zone can cause the animal to panic or to be confused. I think to be safe around livestock, adults and parents should keep an eye out for everyone else, and especially younger children. Personally, I have not worked around very many pesticides. Some pesticides are attractants, disinfectants, and herbicides. Some people think some pesticides are so-called safe, while others are dangerous. This is not the case. All pesticides have the potential and can be harmful if they are used in the incorrect way. There are many ways to die or get injured from using pesticides, such as inhaling them or digesting the pesticides. Each year, 2.5 million tons of pesticides are dumped on our crops. This is a very high number which in return calls for a very high death rate. The World Health Organization states that 220,000 people die annually worldwide from pesticide poisoning. The World Health Organization also says that many farmers who use pesticides are more likely to have a cancer incident than non-farmers. Safety precautions include reading the labels, always use protective equipment that is clean, and to protect your lungs by using respirators. While working on a farm, you are introduced to many unsafe conditions. Injuries can result in something as small as a smashed finger, or extreme as a lost limb, or even death. There are national safety standards for age-appropriate chores and jobs in agriculture. I believe if you've worked on a farm, you must be taught the proper safety precautions and given the right job for the right person. Everyone wants their family to come home safe and uninjured every day. I hope you have a better appreciation for farm safety and its needs. Thank you.